Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mid Journey version 4 tutorial. In this one, going to show you how to make awesome stickers just like this. And then I'm going to show you how to upload them and sell them if you want to make a few bucks maybe, get some passive income going on. Uh, no guarantees, I'm not one of those guys that's going to tell you you're going to make $83,000 a day on using Mid Journey while you're sitting around in your pajamas eating Rice Krispies, none of that nonsense. There's... This is a way for you to make a few bucks and, you know what, enhance your uh, AI art skills. And, you know, I'm going to go through it step by step, every step of the way. So let's just start this off. And let's start somewhere up here. The first thing is you'll notice here is I just started making some stickers. And these are cute, right? But here's the interesting thing. I actually made them in concept art from Animal Crossing. So why did I do, bull why did I do dogs and bulldogs in this case? I uh, a, I'm a dog dad. I'm not a dog owner. I'm a dog dad. There's a huge difference. People either don't like dogs and they're psychopaths and you just ignore them and, and just, you know, delete them off your friends list. There's people that don't mind dogs and they're just whatever regular people. And there are like dog owners, dog dads like me, people that love their dog and would do anything for them. Why does that matter? Because if you're looking to make money selling stuff, a dog or a pet or something like that is a great way to make a few bucks because people love their animals. They also love their video games. So keep that in the back of your head. That's why we're kind of going down this path as well as me being a dog dad. So here we go. To make stickers that we can sell, all you got to do is type in forward slash imagine. And then in this case, let's go to English Bulldog because we did enough French Bulldog. English Bulldog, comma, sticker, comma, vector, comma, white background, white background, doesn't always uh, do it, but it most of the time it does. And the reason why is we want to have the ability to sort of take the animal out of the background. We want to be able to take this, pull the pull the pupper out from the background of the sticker, and then just hit enter. That is the basic. If you want to go further, there is a resource that I've got open here for you. Let's go here. This is the V4 Mid Journey Reference Sheet. This is a very interesting sheet, and I'll make it available. It's free to use. It has all kinds of stuff in it. It has, for example, let's go to the left side. We're going to start off here by characters. If I was to write character by, if this is just, if I don't, pardon me, if I don't type in anything, it'll give you a default character in this type of style. But if I have a particular artist, or maybe I have a um, somebody that makes comic books, a comic book artist, a painter, something like that, you can go through here and look around and see what you got. And if you like a certain style, like, for example, I did one by Esau Andrews. I liked his style, the way he made these uh, little creatures. So what did I do? I went into back into my little mid-journey here in Discord. And then I said, white, I did character concept art from, where, where the heck is Esau? Esau should be right here somewhere. Uh, Esau Andrews. So we did it, but it also drew it, the sticker, in his style. If you have a particular favorite video game, just sort of slide around down here on the bottom and go to Games. And check this out. You know what? If you like Animal Crossing or if you like Borderlands or Bioshock or Cuphead, whatever, you can make stickers in that style. One of my favorites is Cuphead. And my extra big favorite uh, that did the best ones actually was this one here, Hollow Knight. I did it in the style of, so I took right here, you'll see here in this column, character concept art from Hollow Knight. That's it. So all I got to do is go in here and type in white background comma character concept art from hollow knight hit enter and i'm going to get hollow knight style just like this look at how cool this is right this is a great looking sticker i would buy that sticker let me tell you if i saw a french bulldog biting a sword it looks like or bringing a sword into battle that's three dollars that i'm going to pay for i'm going to buy that and it's going to go on my it's going to go in my truck camper Okay, look at this one. This one is kind of cup heady, I believe. Yeah, cuphead. But these are awesome. So keep that in mind. You can do that. So I'll make that available. Now, once you've got something that you like, I mean, look how good these are already turning out. Let's see what we get here. And then I'm going to switch over to Redbubble. Okay, I love this. I, this bottom right one and this bottom left one are, well, I mean, even the friggin' attack hippo with the triceratops horn. Okay, you know what? These are awesome. Okay, so there we go. So anyways, I could do this all day. Let's go back, make some money. So what, what the next step is, you click on the image like this, and then you just save it. So I'm going to save this image to my pictures file. I probably already saved it. Oh, no, okay. There you go. 
Now, let's go back to the uh, programming. <laughs> so again, mid journey and keep in mind if you have, you can look up different types of creatures if you want, if you want to look at like, for example, you know, wanted to do it in a certain painting style, Da Vinci, Durer, all of them, they're all in there. So anyways, the next step is we're going to go over to Redbubble and Redbubble is right here. It's at redbubble.com. Wow, that was a mouthful. And then here we go. You got to sign up for it. You can't just, you got to make a few bucks. So you got to go through about, about 60 seconds of sign up, you know, put your name in and stuff like that. But what you want to do is click down here once you've got your uh, signed up and you've connected your bank or your PayPal so you can make money. Sell your art, just like I did. Click on that. And then now we're just going to go to create products, add designs. And this is where we start making our money. Now it says here, we recommend high resolution JPEG, PNG, or GIF files with a minimum of 1000 pixels resolution. Okay, no problem. The, the uh, default that we got for version four of Midjourney is 1000 and like 24 pixels. So it just barely made the grade or 1048. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go to imageupscaler.com. I'll put the link below and I'm gonna grab that cool little image I made there. So which was the one that we liked? We liked the, let's go with the one with this guy holding the sword, okay? So I'm gonna grab this one and then I'm going to drag and drop it right here. And you'll see here that I've selected 400%. And then I'm just gonna click on start. And then once it's ready, I'm just gonna go ahead and download it. So I did this one earlier and now this one is running and we're going from you know 1000 pixels or whatever to 4000 pixels. And it should take a couple more seconds. I'll download this one while I wait for the other one just so I can show you. And then, okay, presto, it should have just downloaded, but whatever. Um, okay, well, whatever, let's just go right click, save image as, and then we're just gonna put this one in the pictures and we'll just use whatever nonsense uh, file name they gave us. Click out of that one. If I want the next one that I just did, download it. Here we go, right click on it, save image as, and we'll call it hollow, whatever, something like that. We'll go quickly through this. I don't wanna bore you. And then presto, out we go. Now we've upscaled the images. We've got the designs we want. Next step, we are going to go to Photopea, and you'll see here that I did it already with this one, but I'm going to walk you through the step. What we want to do is we just want to take away the background. So like that white in the background, we just want the sticker. We don't want the, the background. So all I got to do is grab the image that we're going to do. So I believe we went with hollow. Let's go with this guy here and drag and drop it in. Well, actually, you know what? Let's just start. Let's start fresh. I'm going to start fresh with a new Photopea because that way you can see exactly what happens. So just type it in Photopea or Photopea, and then go to photopea.com. If you have Photoshop, Photoshop is better for this. Don't get me wrong, but this is a free tool. So I'm just gonna show you how to do it all for free. Grab hollow, drag and drop it right there, and presto, here we go. What we wanna do is we wanna get rid of this white background. Now all you need to do is just go over here to the left side and grab this, the magic wand tool. And when you do that, you'll see here that it's made a selection around everything except the sticker. Now, just go up to edit, and just cut it and boom it's gone the background's gone now go to edit and we're going to go actually let's just go and uh file we're going to go to and we're going to go to uh, what's the best way to do this we're going to go to file and we're just going to export it we're just going to go file export as png i just want to it's a little different than what i'm used to in uh, photoshop so here we go and when we zoom out we're going to see that this is 4000 by 4000 pixels so we've got a high resolution version we're going to click on save and it's just going to automatically download right here i'm going to click on it show it in finder put it in my downloads file i'm going to move it to my pictures and there we go we've now got this fancy looking hollow thing and it is 4,000 by 4,000. So let's see what we got now. We've got it. Now we're gonna go back into Redbubble. All right, thank you very much, Photopea. Great work. Back into Redbubble, upload our stuff. So we're gonna go grab that image and it's a PNG. A PNG always has a transparent background. We're gonna drop it right there and you'll see that it's uploading. And then we're gonna call this Angry, Angry Frenchie or whatever. Yeah, Angry Frenchie. And then we're going to tag it, French Bulldog, Hollow Knight, Hollow Knight, sorry, uh, Sword, Frenchy, you know, just go nuts. And then, and then just type an angry, angry French Bulldog with a cute face and a sword defending his kingdom, whatever, who cares? We're going to have some fun with it. Click enter, or don't even click enter, just go down here and now look. Here we go. 
This is what it looks like on a shirt. Here's what it looks like on a large print clothing shirt. Here's what it looks like on a hat. It doesn't look quite right, but that's okay. Here it is on a chiffon top, whatever the heck that is. And you can go ahead and click on them and resize them. Here's the ones we were making, stickers and magnets. And this is what it would look like. Apply the changes, replace the image. You can go in there and just make some adjustments. A mouse pad, that's a great mouse pad. That'd be a great pillow. Damn. But this is how you do it, guys. And then once you've got it all set up, just go ahead and click on enter. And then boom, save your work. Oops, this is not mature content. Pardon me. Save your work. And then you will start making money once it starts selling. I I didn't show you how to integrate your PayPal. Don't worry about that. You guys can do that on your own. It's very simple to do. And now, all of a sudden, you're an artist making money. Thanks for watching.